my name is Nikwa. if you're new. Hey boo, hey. I went out to Target and I saw this false scara. I'll try to put a picture in here of it because I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. But pretty much they are individual lashes. Um, it comes with a remover, a sealer, a bonder, an uh, overnighter, little thing. Of course the lashes and the um, tweezers, applicator as they should say. So what you do is you, huh? Hold on, I did not read this. <laughs> so use the bonding and you put it on your natural lashes and then you use the tweezers to put the wisp, which is the individual lashes, under the lash line. And then you use the sealer to seal it. Now if you want the overnighter, which I'd rather leave the lashes on overnight, but every time I wake up, I be looking crazy, like, like I have my lashes done forever. Um, so it says the overnighter for an extended wear, apply an additional thin line under the wisp slightly away from the wisp bands. Reapply two or three additional coats for maximum strength as needed. Okay. So, I'm just gonna jump right into this. And then, alrighty y'all, so I decided to go in with the voiceover because the feedback from the, is it feedback? I don't even know. But I don't have a mic on my camera and it was just so much background, like airy. It was just bothering me. So here you see me cleaning my lashes with some micellar water. There's nothing in the instructions um, that indicate that. So it's preference based. Here I am showing you the um, bonding solution brush. It looks like your typical mascara brush. And the solution resembles and smells like mascara as well. Um, it's just a little bit more on the tacky like glue, or, glue side. Um, you see me going in here with the mascara brush. It says to apply, I believe, one to two coats lightly. I, of course, went in with more because it just didn't seem realistic for just one to two coats. I do want to let you guys know that um, your lashes will seem as if they're sticking together. And when you're applying the lashes, um, your natural lashes can stick to your upper eyelid. But it's not hard to kind of remove that. Um... Here I am going in with the first lash. They do come in long, medium, and short. And the look I went for was kind of that wispy look. So I did two long, two medium, and one short as I go into the inner eye. Um, I don't have any inner lashes. So if you do, you can do two additional short. You can do two shorts on the inner, but I could only fit <laughs> one. Um, it didn't look bad. I liked it. The process was really, really short, um, surprising, um, especially because when I do my individual lashes, I'm typically um, dropping glue on my eye or the tweezers or poking myself in the eye. The lashes are not sticking, but this was amazing. Like, look at that. You can barely even forget that. You can't even see the lashes there. They look so natural. got closer to the inner eye I had to apply some more of the bonding solution because that last lash just wasn't adhering the way the rest of them were and I don't know if it's because you know it was on there the whole time as I was as I was applying the rest of the lashes or if it's because I have like little to no eyelashes on my inner eyelid um, but I did have to go back in with that bonding solution um, on that inner eyelid. This right here is a prime example of when I was telling you that your lashes could stick to your lid when you're applying the falsies. Well, here you go. But if you just use your nails, your fingers, the tweezers, whatever you have to kind of like 
peel it off of your eyelid the lashes they still stay they don't go anywhere and this is also a point where if you have more inner lashes than I um, you can add an additional short or you can do an additional long or medium with still just the one short whatever your preference is um, when you're applying it but like I said I only could do too long two medium and one short because I have no inner lashes um, and that's pretty much how you apply them I'm about to show you the brush for the sealing solution and it also looks like a mascara brush the solution is clear um, pretty much what you're supposed to do is apply it to the lashes um, a little bit away from the lash band um, this is supposed to remove any of that sticky um, tacky feeling from the bonding solution um, this worked a little bit I still felt as if the lashes were a bit tacky um, once I applied that on there I went in with the tweezers and kind of just pinched them together see still tacky um, but not as much I went in with the tweezers to kind of like bond them together remember not to snatch your lid because I did that a couple of times it's not fun um, and that's pretty much it look at those lashes y'all they look so freaking natural I can't believe I just sat here and did that in less than 20 minutes so the right eye has the lashes on left eye of course doesn't I'm going to apply the rest of them off camera and I will be right back Alrighty y'all, so I did both sides. This is how they look. Zoom in. Can't even tell. I like them, they're lightweight. I don't feel them. They were easy to put on. So these are like a natural look. I think if you were looking for more of a like dramatic eye or something, you would probably need two of these because, let's see if I can get y'all to see this. Okay, so this is how it came. It came like this on each one. So there's six on each one. I used two long ones, um, two mediums, and one small on each eye. So I'll probably, if, if, if these don't last, or I don't know what the remover does to them, like I don't know if I could reuse these. So we're gonna try to see, I don't know. But, um, that's the only downfall, is it only comes with this many in it. Um, I wish it came with more lashes. I am gonna do another video trying the bond out with other individual lashes to see you know if it'll hold or if it's just with these particular lashes because if you can use that bond with other lashes then that's a game changer so um this is how it looks i'm gonna come back to y'all tomorrow um you know after it's been a full day and overnight so that y'all can see how they hold up my eyes are really harsh when it comes to these lashes um so I am going to put the overnighter on there uh, to see how that works out. And yeah, I'll let you guys know how... Ooh, I don't think I want to put this. It's like... Black. Ooh! That felt like so much. Mmm, I felt like too much. I didn't remember. Why are you fooling with y'all? So that's the overnighter on one eye. We're gonna put it on the other.
and that's pretty much it. I love them, I like them, they're lightweight, easy to put on. It took me 20 minutes max, maybe less than that, and I'm no professional. So, I will be back tomorrow to let y'all know how I feel about those. And if you want to see me try out this brow tint, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.